so good morning everyone hopefully my voice is audible to everyone out there so initially before starting up uh, the today's session i would like to thank tirthankar mahavir university uh, all the dignitaries dr manjula ma'am uh, chairperson iictmu convener dr gitanshu adavra ma'am uh, again uh, iictmu dr shivani i am called ma'am hod department of physiotherapy and uh, dr farhan sir again uh, the organizing secretary as of today so thank you so much and uh, again uh, i would again welcome all the students on board for today's session definitely uh, i think after the end of the session you would be benefited with the discussion and hopefully the discussion would be useful for you so another couple of uh, minutes or hours for whatever we have a discussion definitely that will be certainly be useful for you all so i should i would like to share my screen before so in context to what is innovation what is entrepreneurship and how we can utilize it for our career opportunity definitely these aspects must be noted okay and why do we actually need it because definitely it is the need of the hour nowadays okay so again so entrepreneurship uh, and innovation is again the need as of today hopefully you are being able to see the screen now and yes sir, uh, yes, sir. okay so basically my name is vivek and i am uh, working as an assistant professor in uh, the uh, school of applied medical sciences lbu and uh, continuously working in the field of innovation uh, and entrepreneurship and as a key motivator for students in this particular field so moving ahead what is entrepreneurship and innovation so we would be starting up with the initial definition of the both uh, of 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 both the terms basically what is innovation and what is entrepreneurship okay so okay i think you are being able to visualize the slides well so moving ahead as you can see entrepreneur is a person who upscales a business idea and sustain it against predictable and unpredictable risks so an entrepreneur basically is an individual is a person who tries to upscale any of the ideas and sustain these against whatever be the risks obviously each one of a business is coming is coming up with their own risks basically so an entrepreneur is whole soul responsible for his idea whatever he has generated whatever he has upscaled and then he is there to take care of its predictable and unpredictable risks and an entrepreneurship is an act of doing anything and everything depending on my ability whatever uh, possible ability that i have so based on that uh, uh, abilities i will be possibly be able to develop organize and run a profitable business enterprise including all the uncertainties including uh, uh, including the losses and including the profits including the daily uh, 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 daily ups and downs of the business i i i am exposed to all those things on a daily basis okay so basically entrepreneurship is an ability again or a readiness to develop uncertainties in order to make a profit for example if i uh, if i am a uh, owner of a small uh, say clinic and i am uh, i am i have invested some amount of money into that particular clinic to again uh, cater the patients on a regular basis definitely i i shall be responsible to maintain that clinic over time to cater the patients in the best also uh, do the best of uh, uh, my potentialities to make them again physically fit in the course of time definitely i can have or i can face some or the losses losses in context with uh, 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 it can be monetary in nature definitely it can be in terms of the patient's outcomes 
and definitely it can be in terms of uh, wear and tear of my uh, machines or or modalities or any of the instruments that i have so i have to take care of each and every aspect of my clinic which is a uh, which is an individual uh, uh, entity in order to keep or upscale that particular type of business i have to put up my uh, uh, to the best of my standards and definitely i have i can upscale uh, a business idea i can see what best the best i can do in order to maintain the dignity and decorum of my clinic and as well as what best i can do for my patients so definitely based on uh, the uncertainties every time business is all about uncertainties sometime it may uh, just prosper like anything sometime it may uh, may have some or the other losses but whatever it is you are responsible for everything and that is why we are we, we we do not want to take risks actually we do not want to take risks but again an entrepreneur definitely knows that once he take the risks and if he is certainly into it he will try to develop the idea that he that he has and upscale it to the maximum of his potentials definitely a time comes when it grows okay and it is now a profitable business henceforth so before moving on to uh, the actual uh, part we will be trying to discuss the moe initiatives and targets basically the ministry of education government of india has taken lot many initiatives to target innovation and entrepreneurial ecosystem development and in line with the same your national uh, uh, innovation and startup policy policy initiatives startup planning uh, which is which which again take cares of the startup planning and development over time so whatever a business idea you may have a ministries are taking into uh, taking it into account and they are trying to culture it nurture it at various stages and try to give you the best out of uh, that particular idea in a more progressive way and that is that is why we are having business incubation centers the startup centers at the level of your uh, uh, colleges uh, level of universities and you are having state bodies and national bodies which will help you out to prosper culture nurture your business idea incubated and then develop into an actual model a working model so that model will again help you out to take out of uh, take something out of it earn and again grow okay same uh, in 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 conjunction with the same policy we are having the national education policy nowadays so it was again earlier uh, launched in 2020 which again talks of research innovation and ranking so every time this particular uh, uh, because of this particular policy we now intend to think of research research can be in your particular field innovation again can be in your particular field and again that will add to the ranking of the institution also and individually to me also so if i do well definitely i will try to uh, uh, help uh, myself and to the society so i will i will able to help everyone actually so that is a must again so this this uh, in conjunction with this nab 2020 nowadays the universities and even colleges are taking care of uh, research innovation innovation for students innovation for uh, uh, faculties and we are trying to instigate the best possible uh, uh, small scale uh, large scale business uh, plans Uh, in 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 terms of yes. students again in terms of budding entrepreneurs as you are now you almost uh, i think all the students would be uh, final year students now these you 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 all are budding entrepreneurs you always try to target uh, uh, now you are almost uh, coming up to the society needs so definitely you are the force which which uh, can be maximally utilized and you yourself will feel that if you are working on uh, this particular ecosystem definitely a time comes when you need not to think of your settlement further so you need to upscale you need to ideate something you you should you should be having some ideas and based on those ideas definitely uh, uh, if you if you work 
uh, together, uh, definitely you can have some support system, some, some, some support strategies can be there. Those support strategies can help you out. And again, uh, once you are having this thing, definitely you will be growing up. Okay, so you need to have an entrepreneurship and business plan. We will discuss what all these, uh, what these things are actually, and what is the role of IPR and commercialization, and also the role of innovation ambassadors into it. Okay. So basically, innovation and research in an academic setting. So why do we actually uh, uh, have a need to have this thing? So we must have an explicit uh, answer, a question first. And based on that explicit question, we can have an implicit answer. So since you all are budding scholars and researchers, everyone is a researcher. Okay, so believe in yourself. Everyone is a researcher and every one of you are having some or the other ideas which can be cultured, nurtured and can be progressed further. The only thing is that we do not want to take risks. So if we do so, definitely I can guarantee you that your explicit question, whatever you have in your mind, you need to ideate that question ideate that idea and so that if you are just if you, it, sometimes it happens i am having a question but i am very hesitant to discuss it so that particular explicit question needs to be worked on so if you are working on that particular question hypothesize it definitely the work to be done will actually work practically so whatever you are thinking uh, uh what or or whatever is there in your books you need to work on it practically obviously you may need a team initially you need some support system that will be provided that is a beauty of uh, nowadays uh, working or studying in an institution in, in in a university where you are having institution innovation council definitely you all are benefited so if you are working progressively practically you need to think of any of the questions and have a suitable answer to that question. So for any explicit question that you have, you need to have an implicit answer. So once you are having an answer to it, definitely you will have a systematic approach to collect, collate and analyze that particular data or information to move again from the explicit question to the implicit answer. And at that moment of time, suddenly while working, it can be in a month time, it can be in a year time, that, is, that all depends on your efforts. A day comes when that is your Eureka movement and all of a sudden you get onto something. I'll give you an example. Uh, Newton won't have known that uh, the, uh, the, the apple falls from a tree and he discovered the law of gravity. So then, he won't have known, uh, okay, he was sitting in his, uh, in his garden and he was just watching over and suddenly an apple fell down from a tree. And that again uh, curated him and he thought, okay, so why, why, why doesn't it uh, uh, just fly in air? Why it is not hanging in air? Why it is falling down? So then for that explicit question, he worked around and he thought, so whatever object I throw, it doesn't, uh, uh, it, it's not in air, it always moves towards gravity. So it, now through several researches, it has been known that gravity mm -hmm. attracts each thing, everything, everything you throw, yeah, everything you, uh, uh, you just suspend over and you leave it, it falls to the ground. So automatically for that explicit question, and if I work on that explicit question, definitely a time comes when I get an implicit answer to that. So that, again, you need to have a creativity for that. You need to have an approach for that, which is the most important human resource as of today. So creativity is the most important human resource that you have actually. If you are having a creativity, if you are having a thought, Definitely try to culture that thought and see and make your environment, your ecosystem in such a way that your support system will again try to 
add on to your efforts. It can be anything. It can be anything. I must tell you, make the most stupid of your ideas, the most stupid of ones, and that stupid idea, that uh, uh, illogical ideas can somehow work to be more and more useful. But you need to ideate. That is very important. Okay, so you should be having everyone is a distinct individual. Definitely, you are having some questions which you you. It is again typical to you. You haven't shared it up with anyone, and you 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 are not having an answer to it. But think over. You will get answers. Work in that particular way. It is not necessary that the work done will be fruitful. So same as the business. same as the business so business can be having some loss and profits similarly your particular question may be useful or may not be but think over if you are thinking it very wisely definitely your questions a time will come when your explicit question will have an implicit answer to it and that approach must be collected collated and analyzed and that analysis if you are doing it over time definitely a uh, a uh, a uh, day uh, will come when that eureka that we call it as a eureka moment where all of sudden you will get a precise idea how to culture that uh, 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 that thought process you must be having creativity in addition got it moving ahead so again creativity is always inspired by nature okay i'll give you certain examples like we are having uh paramedical students we are having uh, physiotherapy students and uh, other professionals so definitely i'll tell you creativity is always it has been inspired by nature from the very beginning so now uh, you can see the nature's creation and the human's creation okay so venoms poisons have been uh, uh, been used as anesthetics by humans so nature has created snakes they are having some venoms and poisons and that venoms and poisons are now being used as anesthetics the leaf the leaf uh, uh, again the process of photosynthesis is known to everyone so that particular leaf is creating some uh, uh, food for itself for the complete tree so that process of photosynthesis utilizing sunlight for production of energy for food for plants is is well known to every everyone so that process of photosynthesis so we are utilizing solar energies to create food as the plant does so same context has been used in the solar panels where we are deriving energy from light we are charging materials we are charging batteries and then we are using that energy in terms of Uh, again further we use it for energy uh, uh, utilities okay our brain so human brain is again the biggest computer we ever have and will ever had okay in future also so this particular brain is again made to process information it is it is a complex circuit system which remembers which tries to remember even the small bit of information that you might have incurred a long time back so based on the same context we have developed a computer mobile and other electronic devices where the information can be stored and can be extracted back as and when it is required okay so again in uh, if you see the nature's creation as your dna so dna is having some coded information about the person's characters and his uh, uh, natural well being so same information is we are extracting it into a computer program so we make a program we 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 try to store that program and we can again replicate those uh, uh, those datas into several other systems okay so another example is your eardrum so eardrum uh, you are having your uh, uh, small small bones in your ears you call it as steps malus incus and steps small bones the vibration of those uh, uh bones in between causes the clarity in the sound and you try to appreciate it the same context is being utilized in a microphone so you are having some ear pods you are having some uh, bluetooth devices you are having some headphones so how do we use it so simply it tries to amplify 
your volume and that amplified volume you are being able to appreciate it okay so even in uh, people who are uh, having some um, loud hearing they are not being able to appreciate small volumes of sound for those people we are having ear plugs which again amplifies the volume and tries to send that volume into your internal ears so that you appreciate voice okay so that is creativity see the eyes so eyes are again capable of taking and processing any image you see and the same context is being used by a camera which is having a lens a focus an iris and a film so what it does is it tries to process capture the image and we try to process that image further even your eyelids so uh, as you can see whenever something approaches your eyes automatically your eyelids closes so based on the same context we are having wipers in a four vehicle in a four wheeler so that automatically whenever some dust comes to us it we automatically open the wiper and the 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 the, the, the screen the particular uh, glass the mirror it cleans off so that we can drive easily so you must have creativity and that creativity is being inspired by nature we have always from the very beginning people have explored the nature's creation and that creation has been again utilized further as a human creation and they have developed in n number of ways hopefully you agree with me so moving ahead now has been colloquially said that we are having two parts of the brain the the one of the part is responsible for your personality your creativity your music art dreams intuitions and the other half again uh, your uh, language analysis mathematical calculations logical thinking reading and writing so basically we are having these two parts of the brain and this particular part of brain the two parts of the brain are again having some or the other role to have so again moving on to the next slide you just remember this one the role of the two halves of the brain now moving ahead how does it how does the brain works so basically we are having four types of creativity if you uh, 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 think of uh, thomas alva edison so he he was having some deliberate and cognitive type of approach so he developed the electric bulb he did lot many experiments failed n number of times researching it he did sustained work researching hit and trial methods and he made mistakes several number of times and finally he curated a, a, a particular bulb okay so this is how our different parts of the brain you can see these different parts of the brain are actually working okay so uh, moving ahead see newton was again into this part of the quadrant where he had logical reading and writing skills so again newton explored the part of gravity while falling and while watching uh, uh, apple falling down so he again had a thought of gravity so he is into this quadrant where he is having a logical thinking attitude again interpreting that logical thinking so now creative artists okay so uh, musicians artists they are basically into this quadrant where they are into the uh, into a thought process of arts dreams intuition and emotions also some part of emotions also we students basically are into this stage of ideation where we are very deliberate and emotional but you know this part of the individual category the deliberate and emotional one you see again in this one who is uh, having creativity into it so have that creativity have that creativity be very very foolish be very very stupid it's good because being stupid and being foolish definitely if 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 someone says i am foolish it's good because being foolish is sometimes better i make i i make mistakes i make several mistakes i have committed n number of uh, 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 mistakes into my life 
and that is why i learn but if i am not having a daring if i am not having some dare to uh, uh, to allow someone to laugh i won't be developing so every time these emotions the feelings bring us some quiet time and you think on yourself and then that again comes up with some creativity some positive ideas and that positive idea is a must for your career for your opportunities for your entrepreneurial skills for your innovation so that is why that is the main theme of this particular slide you need to be oriented you need to be deliberate you need to be emotional okay we don't think that somebody will laugh it has been several circumstances where people are uh, are are thinking that the individual is very uh, he is doing uh, all the nuances he is not doing well he, he is he is very stupid of his kind he is thinking very in a very raw manner think it culture your ideas and that ideas must be further progressed thought characterized into something fruitful so if you are into this quadrant into the upper quadrant where you are having uh, creativity you are again in a positive sense it's good you must be having some positive ideas and if you are having some positive ideas a day comes when your work when your uh, 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 practice when your precise thinking will get out of something fruitful and you will develop some or the other things so basically i think according to me the 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 the, the aspect of the brain which is related to creativity is the most it should be the most developed one because i am not a musician i am not uh, i am not having uh, logical thinking if at all if i can think of but that part of a brain again requires too much of practice but being creative being creative is 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 the least requirement actually you can any every one is having lot many ideas so i uh, if i think i am not newton i am not a musician i am not uh, thomas alva edison okay fine i am having some limited scope that particular limited scope also can be cultured can be developed into some positive ideas and when and again i will tell you when once you think if if you are living alone if you are living alone or spend some time on yourself where you be alone think what actually you are doing is that your key interest area where you are working so think of kabhi aap sochiye ki aap jo kar rahe ho क्या वो आप अपने लिए कर रहे हो और क्या वो आप उससे बेनिफिट आपको हो सकता है क्या ये सचमुच आप करना चाहते हो सो थिंक ओवर सो वंस यू थिंक ओवर ऑटोमेटिकली यू विल गेट एन आइडिया यू विल गेट योर इनर वॉइस दैट यस वेदर दिस इज द थिंग आई एक्चुअली वांट टू डू सो डूइंग दिस विल गिव मी जॉय विल गिव मी फन विल गिव मी एंड सेट माई फ्यूचर स्टैंडर्ड will give me some ideation and based on that ideation i will have my future setups so think over so think over and then definitely on thinking a time will come when that idea that creativity will again further prosper and that is the role of these institutions nowadays where your idea whatever comes to your brain whatever comes to you definitely that idea can be explored very well that is a guarantee because why guarantee because you every one of you are quite uh, creative in nature it is the case i have seen all the uh, individuals in colleges in most of the universities students are the main force where they are having lot many ideas and lot many thoughts you just need to culture it again be more and more precise stick adhere to your ideas a day comes when that idea will again prosper okay moving ahead so now this innovation and entrepreneurial uh, ecosystem as a career opportunity so be creative okay so again as i said this particular ability or the quality displayed will try to solve your problems and again we are having a team of helpers 
team associates who will again try to improve uh, your pro problem solving approaches and we try to create some novel solutions out of your uh, explicit question that you had so based on that explicit question based on that explicit idea whatever you are having a time comes when you are molded in such a way that that will again uh, create some novel solutions out of those problems definitely you will and b solve the point of pain i'll give you an example if i am a lab technician if i am a lab uh, a worker so i i uh, every one of you might be uh, capable of taking blood from your uh, vessels uh, from your uh, elbow for example of one of your arteries here so automatically i i i might i might think okay everyone does the same thing how can i be more and more tactful how can i do some uh, how, can, how can i create some other strategies where i feel no pain and easily i can extract blood uh, by using some of the other strategies think over think over and then once you think over automatically a, a time comes when you will extract ideas you know that is why where we see uh, uh, multiple punctures in a vein causes thrombophlebitis it is a painful condition highly painful condition so if i create some uh, central line onto my uh, 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 my one of my dorsal aspect of my hand i can create multiple uh, uh, i have multiple openings into it i can uh, inject some of the uh, uh, injections some uh, drugs out of it and i can again uh, take blood if possible if required i can take out of it so now example can be anything it can be uh, specific to your concern i am not very particular to your uh, field basically but again that is why i am telling you solve the points of pain because you know better than us you know better than us what are the problems that you are seeing in your field how you can reduce it so analyze that point of pain analyze the question you need to have you 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 are having multiple opportunities you will definitely once you think the point of pain automatically you will get an answer to it how to reduce it so i gave you a, a very uh, a very general example so uh, if 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 i uh, if i multiple times i puncture one single vein obviously that will be painful in order to reduce that i am having a central line it has been uh, experimented and it has been devised quite earlier you can have ideas of your own how further to reduce it okay so in the same context you need to have new processes and ideas that help us to do something better explore new ways to do the existing things better now it is already there the central line is already available uh, in the market and whenever an individual is in icu or uh, he needs prolonged immobilization in bed and uh, or any critical care unit obviously the first thing that the nursing staff does is to uh, inject uh, is to insert a central line so either you can have new processes or new products or you can again think of the existing idea which is already there you have to think of the new ideas to make it more better or also you can have some new services to supply to the new or existing customers okay so as a lab uh, as a lab expert you are moving into uh, some home care systems to collect uh, pathological uh, samples and uh, uh, move into uh, uh, some labs to uh, analyze those slides so what best you can do in that particular activity definitely that will improve your uh, uh, ideas and you can scale this up individually to grow yourself as an entrepreneur and you can take that as a as, as a career opportunity for yourself but again you have to think in your specific way even for uh, physical therapists you are moving into home care systems so now we are using some mobile units uh, where we are having vehicles and uh, the the vehicle is uh, embedded with all the relevant machinery modality 
and we can instantly move on to some uh, home care and we can instantly provide services so it's already there it's already there i i, I don't say that it is new to uh, speak of but definitely you can still have some better ideas into the existing ones you can modify those constraints and you can develop your specific uh, idea into something more creative and you can utilize it as a again as a career opportunity okay so you may have some domain relevant skills some creative process and uh, you obviously you need to have a task motivation which will again try to have some stages development basically you need to prepare your stuff prepare your you need to culture your idea prepare some prototype out of it incubate it see whether it is working you need to have some key insights think how you can refine it better and better over time evaluate the loss and the profit aspects of that particular concern and then try to further elaborate it in a more better way got it as you are working in this process definitely i think you will be developing in a more uh, uh, planned manner okay so again think laterally if, if you can as you can see in this particular slide if i am having some obstruction or some problem into my way definitely i stuck up if i am moving in a linear path so have an attitude of lateral thinking he a time came when thomas alva edison devised the bulb because he went out of the box ideas he had out of box ideas and he just tried to avoid all the obstructions in between the problem statements and all and once moving out of way definitely i sometimes get the practical solutions so i would request everyone to have an attitude of lateral thinking also so moving linearly will give you traditional 9 to 5 uh, hours of a job and you might not get the maximum of your potentials if you are doing traditionally if i talk of myself if i am doing a 9 to 5 piece of job i am happy but i am just happy and i am getting a limited number of resources a limited amount of salary by the end of the month but if i am thinking laterally i have to bear some pain out of my work so i do researches i do copyrights i do uh, book writing articles researches so i have to have some attitude of lateral thinking if i am having it definitely a time comes when your persistence once your uh, perseverance will give you your it will be paid again in the due course of time it takes time but definitely it will so you have to think somehow laterally to get on to your ideas sometimes okay moving ahead so basically in order to develop an ecosystem you need to have some design thinking you need to have a problem the question explicit question that we had discussed so based on that explicit question you need to have a solution so problem and solutions should fit together to get the right person with the right shoe if you need to have a right person with the right shoe definitely the problem stated and the solution should fit together and if it fits together definitely you can get something innovative out of your work create a product make a prototype of it make a minimum viable product it can be technology related it can be uh, some manual uh, machine anything anything of your kind and try to develop that particular innovative tool see whether it is working and see whether it is uh, uh, market ready or not whether in what particular market you will get this absorption of that particular uh, uh, instrument or uh, uh, practical tool that you have made in which market it will be uh, uh, it will be absorbed so that will be the novelty of that particular product so who will take it who will be able to utilize it 
whether it is being utilized by everyone that is good if it is being utilized by every uh, stage of the population definitely it is the best thing you can have so think over okay so you need to have a, a, a business idea which is fit and in in what population we will again serve it okay and then once you have these scalable business plans you are having a product you are having a model canvas you are having a business fit uh, to the to 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 the societal needs definitely you can have a startup and entrepreneurship you can take it together and you can develop it and in this particular course of time people will help you a lot we are having agencies national and inter and international agencies that will help you out to prosper your business at some or the other stage but you you again have to have a a a a, a, a scalable idea a, a suitable idea where which can be again utilized further okay so again both innovation and entrepreneurship is thinking big you need to have support strategies obviously uh as 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 a, a beginner definitely you need to have some or the other support and that is why uh, universities are making business incubation centers which will help you out to develop your business but you should be uh, your work is to have a, a a pitching idea so that pitch decking is your work definitely institutions will help you to raise the funds all over and uh, uh, um, so that you try to complete it up okay so almost to the end i suppose so basically uh, the patience persistence will always be appreciated and that will create lot many possibilities for you in future but you need to have patience because it always happens that we make multiple mistakes out of our ideas uh, sometimes uh getting funds is also a trouble i can easily understand but definitely if you make a step your university will again try to create and help you out with multiple aspects i guarantee you again the universities are now scaling up the ministries are also scaling up the ideas they are culturing it and helping uh, students and uh, workforces to develop a viable business plan okay so it has been rightly said that your knowledge should gain should make you gain monetary benefits also so along with the knowledge that saraswati ji has given you try to explore uh, money out of it so try to uh, explore some uh, try to uh, like uh, make lakshmi out of it so again appreciate so definitely your knowledge whatever you have got will definitely will give you some uh, monetary benefits okay so now prerequisite of an entrepreneur we are almost uh, uh, will be completing the work so again we need to train entrepreneurial skills obviously my work is to again help you as a catalyst between the organization and the society so as an uh, innovation ambassador what we try to do is we try to help you out uh, in multiple ways your potentials we need to analyze your potentials see your keen interest in innovation and entrepreneurship and you have to make a product ideate first based on that ideation we will try to again give you some uh, further uh, uh, help it can be financial it can be uh, uh, physical it can be uh, any of the physical resources that you need so based on those definitely we will try to help you out in multiple sense so that you make a prototype and then that prototype further will work into an actual model got it so this is a simple uh, road map entrepreneurial road map where you need to have an idea that ideation must be having some creation and some design into it which is uh, obviously will create some utility that utility must be having some proper uh, 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 prototype should be made it must be optimized corrected revised several times 
it must be having a usp it must be having a unique selling proposition that is unique to your idea if you have made a, a mobile what is unique to your mobile or uh, like uh, 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 your lab experts most of the students are lab experts basically so there are multiple uh, labs opened all over what is unique into that so do they have a digital platform do they have some digital report making so that is unique to your lab facility so you or idea you should not be moving into the crowd move out of the crowd think out of the crowd and if you are thinking out of the crowd definitely you will be benefited somehow and then once you are having a usp you see which market i can target to which population it will help so see the novelty see the novelty whether which population will be benefited by my idea whatever i have made okay and that particular market fit if it is there now whether i will be able to sustain the market or not because th that is again the uh, last and most important uh, terminology sustainability i if i have to sustain in a market i have to be uh, 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 appropriate i must my idea must be appropriate so less of investment more of productivity more of outputs should always be in your mind got it is that clear to everyone hopefully it is we'll have questions later so now as an allied health professional definitely if you are a healthcare professional draw out strategies to develop newer methods for patient care both in house and opds outdoor patients you need you can have digitalization of the records you can draw apps you can have patient data handling uh, again in more systematic way A designing of some new concerns in uh, like customized lab instruments which can be carried out anywhere and everywhere anywhere i can do some blood test anywhere i can do some pathological tests so i need to derive some tools you might have heard of uh, malaria kits even uh, covid kits were there uh, random kits were there which uh, if, if if a particular i can take a swab and i can put it onto that uh, corona kit automatically uh, that will uh, that will give me a primary uh, implication that the particular individual may be infected with covid 19 so that is again an innovation so think in that fashion definitely those ideas will be again helpful to you and you can lead your particular career in that particular way so you can even develop applications digital applications to outreach the patient in home cares and monitor their progress on a digital platform that is also possible nowadays okay so that you keep tracking tracing and remediation precisely okay so this is how you need to develop in a progressive fashion again to get some better outcomes as your career opportunity and as again a a a a healthy professional and you need to contribute your efforts to the society so that will give you appreciation all together okay thank you so much thank you for your kind and patient listening if you are having any questions to ask definitely you can do so anyone having any questions by the end okay uh, thank you sir uh, okay students sir, uh, i have one question yeah सर uh, जैसे हमारी फील्ड में हम क्लिनिक पे पेशेंट्स देख रहे हैं हमारा क्लिनिक है और हम होम केयर पेशेंट्स भी ले रहे हैं तो उसको हम कंफर्टेबली कैसे मैनेज कर सकते हैं सी ऑब्वियसली यू नीड टू फ्रैगमेंट योर टाइम दैट कैन बी वन एस्पेक्ट ऑफ योर मैनेजमेंट यू कैन हैव डिजिटलाइजेशन इन दैट सेंस नाउ डेज पेशेंट आर क्वाइट लर्नर्ड you are having applications where you can manage both the inpatient and outpatient facilities you can even deliberate your time uh, sequentially what we have been doing is we are having applications where we can monitor the patient's progress on a daily basis patient himself patient himself can record the progress record his progress if we are not being able to visit that particular patient regularly we have given them time either alternatively or Uh, in a week 
so they can document by themselves we have guided them some uh, guided them some exercise programs so they can uh, automatically feed their data into their mobiles i think most of the people nowadays are having digital phones smartphones you can make a very simple app and if the individual is having pain or if he has gained certain range of motion he can add on to that particular app his progress it gives me one simple idea it just give me one simple idea if the patient is at an emergency or if he wants to get attended instantly he can have one single button press and i get a message so definitely i have to then spend some time to look after so if you digitally uh, prioritize your time and digitally uh, prioritize your patient i think you will be uh, able to look after multiple patients even in a single day you need not to call each one of them you need not to call uh, sometimes uh, the patient can have uh, 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 your uh, discussion on phone sometimes even through mails sometimes even through these apps so automatically that creates a uh, um, a bridge between you and your patient i think hopefully that might be useful for them okay sometimes it is not possible for a physiotherapist to be everywhere anywhere and everywhere it is not possible and in the covid 19 situations we cannot also call multiple patients so you can make a digital platform where you can uh, coordinate with the patients digitally and again you need to have a pop if the population is not educated not well educated in that sequence you can again ask him to make a simple diary and that uh, diary would help him to document at least in his or her language he can document his progress by the end of the day or by the end of the month or a week or so you can again coordinate with him and uh, he can again document uh, and uh, again give you the idea what what best he is doing or what are the problems that he is facing so you can again coordinate with in that in that particular sense i suppose is that okay yes sir <clears throat> okay oh okay uh, thank you sir uh, is there any other question okay uh, uh, so uh, moving ahead i guess uh, we will conclude the session uh, because uh, questions and uh, questions are already answered being answered okay uh, so uh, thank you very much sir vivek sir thank you sir and uh, it was indeed a very informative session and uh, i hope uh, uh, this session has helped all the students and participants in understanding the concepts of entrepreneurship and the related career opportunities and uh, i hope obviously it will help them in their upcoming uh, careers and post most students uh, uh, who are participants today are going for their internships uh, in uh, the time coming ahead so it will help obviously help them uh, in their careers uh, as entrepreneurs and uh, as uh, uh, updating their uh, career opportunities so thank you very much sir thank you so much sir for this wonderful opportunity thank you so much students thank you thank you sir